Hi all, I want to welcome you to our second ever uh, Wikia webinar. Um, thank you for joining us today. Um, the theme of our webinar today is the new product webinar. Um, for those of you um, who have already posted um, and tested out the software using GoToWebinar, um, which ha you have the ability to chat with the group, as well as post questions, um, those questions will come into us um, and we'll be um, collecting them for during our Q&A time, so feel free to send in questions um, at any time throughout our discussion and we'll take breaks um, after the first present, uh, half of the presentation at the end um, where you'll, um, we'll relay the questions um, that you submit there. Um, so my name is Sarah Manley and I um, am a community manager here at Wikia um, and help to organize these webinars. So I want to thank you all for signing up and for attending. Um, today with me is Brad Niemer and Trevor Bolliger from our product team here at Wikia and behind the scenes um, helping with the questions is Charla Rath. So I want to thank all three of them today for taking time out of their busy schedules um, to present. Also important to know is that we're recording this session. Um, so if you have to have to pop out um, to go to lunch or a meeting, um, you'll be able to access this um, within a couple days on Community Central uh, Wiki. Um, you can also see the last webinar that we did about a month ago. Um, and you'll also be able to register for our upcoming webinar on December 6th that's all about um, promoting your Wiki. <laughs> Uh, so this is our agenda today. I'll do a quick introduction, then we'll move over to Brad, who will be talking um, to us about a product that he's working on, um, our expanded wiki navigation. Um, then we'll do a quick Q&A with Brad, um, which um, you will just focus on the navigation. Um, and then we'll move on to chatting with Trevor about the message wall product, and then we'll have a more expanded QA um, at the end of the session. So again, feel free to submit those questions at any time. Um, so just do a little bit of an introduction of what is um, product development here at Wikia and how do we kind of decide what we're working on. Um, it's really an, kind of an iterative process that we use here. Um, we're constantly looking at um, how users are interacting with our site, so both from feedback that we hear on Community Central and from the emails that we get from the community, as well as looking at data um, on how what links people are clicking on, where people are succeeding and how they're contributing. Um, um, and where they seem to be failing. Um, and our products um, are really focused on helping um, all of our editors, both new and old, to become more successful um, on Wikia. Um, and so in order to do that, our teams um, here, our product team, are broken up into a number of groups um, that focus on different aspects. So Brad today is on our discovery and engagement team, um, and Trevor is on our social team, who are focused on products to um, to help kind of those aspects. Um, the way that they do that is taking the research and seeing where is a new product that they can develop or an, another product that they might want to revamp, like the Wiki Navigation, which we'll hear about in a minute. And from there, they do a lot of research both on Wikia um, and across the web, kind of checking out best practices um, and um, develop prototypes that we uh, test internally. And then once we feel um, that it's passed a number of tests, passed kind of internal testing, we move it out um, to, to the site. So you can see now um, products that are just being tested on a couple wikis or within Wikia Labs, which is our kind of beta testing area. Um, and then eventually once we feel that the product's at a stage that can be um, applied across the site is when we make it available um, for all wikis, either within the wiki features or um, rolled out across the site. Um, so to kind of hear more about um, this process and, and where we are in the stage with our wiki navigation. I'm going to hand off the, um, the mic, as you might say here, or the headphones, um, to Brad Niebuhr, who will talk to us about um, his latest product, which is the expanded wiki navigation. Hi, uh, hopefully you can all hear me. If not, just uh, type in the channel and we will uh, see if we can correct it. Uh, I'm here today to talk about wiki navigation. We're very excited to roll out some new improvements. Uh, we think, think you really will uh, enjoy. So if you are looking at the screen, you see the orange box. That surrounds uh, what the part we're talking about. There will be some other uh, minor enhancements to the page, but most of what we're talking about is in that box. So. Um, uh, things you'll recognize at first is that you, there the uh, 
the four tabs that you have uh, already got on the wiki, the four uh, main tabs, and then each of those can have seven menu items beneath them. There's also an on the wiki menu and um, a big uh, highlight. It's not always blue, of course. It's whatever color you uh, choose on your wiki. We'll get bored, but get to that later. Um, again, backing up a little bit, you see the old navigation at the top of this page. So this is what most of you see on your current wikis. Um, this feature is available in labs, so approximately 1,100 people, I should say 1,100 wikis have already activated it. And so you might be seeing if you travel around Wikia or if you're using it on your site, you might see the new navigation format below. The biggest changes, again, are that we now have, uh, in addition to the first, the level one links, which are unchanged, the level two links, which now go horizontally but uh, are still there, we've added a level uh, three which lets you add 10 more links for each level two links. It sounds complicated, but essentially you've got 10 times the menu items at your disposal, and we hope that you'll enjoy that. Um, the one thing that you want to be aware of, is you can see it in this picture, is that since right now the level two menus are horizontal, if you have a lot of wide text, say for example, you know, the Harry Potter books have very long titles, um, you can fit fewer of them side by side than you could have fit when they're stacked vertically. So you may wish to reorganize your menus in such a way that the long stuff, if it has to still stay long, is in a level three menu and you use shorter and sweeter uh, menu items for level two. But otherwise, in general, we're increasing the number of items that you have at your disposal by 10. We really hope you'll enjoy it and we hope that you'll also appreciate the enhanced visibility that these level two menu items have because they're highlighted in a strong color. Um, <clears throat> so as for that color, things that, that you'll see, uh, right now, again, we're showing the examples in blue, but on your wikis, this color will be whatever you have chosen in Theme Designer for the button setting. So this color is completely customizable by you, uh, the wiki admins. and. Um, we're just showing blue in this example, but would actually be, you know, if, if red was your button color on a red wiki or on a wiki that had um, that accent color, that's the color that the nav would be. It automatically uh, changes, and actually you can preview the visuals in uh, Theme Designer really nicely in real time, so you can play with it and then uh, save the one that you like the best. Um, this on the wiki menu that is highlighted in blue is important to us because uh, we find that there are a lot of great areas of content and community in the, the wikis, um, but they're not always so easy to find. And so we take some responsibility for that and we're trying to help you surface some of these important features like new photos. People have uploaded fantastic photos to many of the wikis and this feature has existed for quite some time, but it hasn't been so easy to find. And so we've noticed that people uh, tend to like it when they find it, but they have a hard time finding it. So we're trying to use this space to surface things like that so that we can promote, uh, help people find the things that they already want to find on your wikis or just having a little bit of trouble. And um, we as Wikia staff will curate this list as to the best of our ability to reflect, <coughs> excuse me, the things that we think are, um, you know, most important in general across Wikia. We're, we have the ability to do it wiki by wiki, but generally this will be the same list on every single wiki because we think these, these features are generally important across the board. And then we're counting on the local admins on each of the individual wikis to use their best judgment because you know better than we do what's important for your community and what makes sense for your content with the 280 other links that you have, uh, you have access to. Um, also on this page, you can see a, contrib a contribution toolkit it's on the wiki, you'll see it as a contribute button, which gets you a pull down menu with a lot of the tools that used to be scattered around page and are now grouped in one convenient place. So if you're an admin, you'll see the edit wiki navigation link and this will take you into the editor. We'll show you a glimpse of that in just a moment. But all of the other tools are, um, are grouped together in a way that we hope will be convenient for uh, experienced admins, and we hope that it'll be much easier to understand for budding contributors. 
So once you click that Edit Wiki Navigation button, you'll get to the familiar screen that, should, that lets you edit the uh, wiki text. If, if you've ever done this before, you'll be familiar with the, the system. One star gets you a first level menu item, two stars gets you a, a second level menu item, and three stars is new, but it gets you a third level menu item. So with these three very simple markups, markup tags, you can actually control all of It's hard to visualize you know, all these stars and all this text, so what we've done um, is borrow what worked really well from the visual editor, preview mode, and add that to Wikinav. So now with the new Wikinav system, you can preview all of the changes in the exact color and in the exact um, configuration. So you can see if it looks the way you want, and you can actually even test the links. Each of the links will open in a new tab. So before committing this to the public, before saving it, before changing or, you know, frankly, messing up your wiki, um, you can preview all these changes yourself, get it right, go back and fix it if you want to fix anything, and once you're ready and you feel comfortable, you can hit publish. So we hope that this tool uh, will make it a lot more fun, a lot easier to manipulate the you know, Wikinav, and hopefully it will save you a lot of time. Excuse me. We're almost done with this feature, so we think we have a couple more weeks of development work. We hope to get it out um, on all new wikis and uh, all the uh, the current ones that haven't already adopted it in this month of November. Which uh, happy November! We're all in November now. Um, there are a few things we we still aim to add. One is um, we've noticed that it's not always clear to people based on user feedback from the early testers that there is a third level menu available, so we're going to add a little arrow in the second level menu. You'll see what we mean. You might not even notice. It might just look very natural, but we just wanted to let you know we'll be doing that. That's uh, something that we, um, we learned directly from user feedback. We will add um, page level sharing tools that will be much more prominent and uh, hopefully easy to use and easy to find than uh, they currently are. And this with validator tool sounds complicated, but basically it means that when you're editing your wiki text for the nav, we will tell you if something is going to be too wide to fit in its entirety in the tool. So nothing's going to break if you write something that's too wide, but we know that you want to, if you think that you're showing, you're intending to show seven and items, but there are um, maybe a few too many characters, we don't want you to be surprised if it doesn't show up properly, so we want to let you know while you're still in editing mode that, um, that it's going to be too long. So this tool is essentially going to be nothing you need to worry about. It's only going to pop up if, you, uh, if the uh, wiki text is too long. It'll let, give you a little note pop up. If you click OK, go back, shorten it, and uh, take it from there. So you shouldn't have to um, worry that you're going to end up with wiki text that breaks the nav, um, we hopefully hopefully this tool will make it um, a little more foolproof. And again, you don't have to wait until we flip the switch on for every wiki. You can um, go to w the admin dashboard <coughs> lab section and uh, click it on yourself. There are already more than 1,100 wikis who have been using it, and the feedback has generally been very very positive. And so we one we look love you to try it. We hope you enjoy it, but we very much would like continued feedback. Uh, we want this to be great for you guys, and um, please help us do it. Thanks, Brad, for that quick walkthrough. Um, this this um, tool has been one that um, we've heard a lot of feedback already from the community through um, the Wikia Labs feedback tool, um, as well as on the staff blog blog, blog. <laughs> um, so I just curated a couple of um, top community questions that we saw there um, as more questions come in from the folks on the webinar. Um, I thought we'd start out with just um, having you go through a couple of answers um, to these questions that I've seen asked in a couple of places already. Um, so to start, um, how can folks on their wikis customize this new navigation? So, so you can customize navigation. So so you can customize navigation in a couple ways. One, uh, visual appearance is really important to a lot of people. And the best way to do that is theme designer because you get a real-time preview. So if you change the colors uh, using the theme designer tool, 
that you can already use for the other aspects of controls. You see exactly what that wiki is going to look like on the skin in context, uh, what the nav will look like. Um, so that's the best way to do it. There may be CSS ways that the technically um, advanced folks can use, but the way we recommend is theme designer because it's it's it gives you all the visibility all in one screen, and certainly all of the links uh, the the 28 current links plus 10 individual menu links, which gets you 280. All of those are completely customizable by wiki admins using the um, menu editing tool. Okay, great. Um, a couple of questions um, that have come in from the community and that I've posted here as well. Um, do you plan to add more links or allow um, wikis to customize or request um, more links to the on the wiki menu? So the on the wiki menu will definitely evolve. We um, we plan to keep it um, since there are so many wikis in Wikia. We have almost three hundred thousand, and we're trying to find the best uh, balance across the board. We'll need at least for the time being, potentially forever, to have Wikia staff manage that. But again, since the purpose of the wiki and highlight and surface the content and the community activities that are most important to each wiki. Um, it won't succeed unless we're responsive and unless we pick the right stuff. So we'd very much like your feedback. We've tried to make the best estimates, the best guesses, um, based on what we know of how people click and what people have told us. And, um, and the things that you see there are based on user feedback and user traffic. So we're um, we're already using the uh, input of ad, but we'd very much like more. So if there is something that you think would make the on the wiki menu better, please do let us know. Whether it's in the feedback tool, as Sarah mentioned, in labs or on the blog or through the normal channels, we please do let us know what you think would make the on the wiki menu the best it can be. Okay, great. Yeah, one of the ones um, and a related question that came in was uh, about having a link to popular pages. Um, so that that's one that I think folks would be interested um, in you considering as well. Um, another um, question that I have here um, is how did you choose uh, the links um, in the contribution toolkit and is that also a place that you're looking at adding different links? Yes, the contribution um, contribution toolkit, that menu is also selected based on what we see people using. And that I would expect to grow in the future as we can make it richer and more uh, more powerful. We'd love to make a um, more powerful set of tools for admins and make them easier to use at the same time, easier to understand it for a new contributor and, um, and generally just easier to manage. So, um, we chose them watching pe what people do based on our internal knowledge because there are a lot of um, ex you know advanced wiki users at Wikia and um, and based on feedback. So if you have feedback on what would make a great contribution toolkit link, we you know please please do let us know. And I can just jump ahead and, and answer the site wide question that you see here. Um, we're hoping to to launch this in the next two to four weeks. We really want to make it available to as many people as possible as soon as possible. And so we just got the few um, remaining tweaks we want to add to it, the share tool and validation for the menus, chevrons on the level two menus and so on. But um, it's, based, it's been very, very stable. And so if you're interested at all, we do encourage you to try it now. We do feel like it's ready to go on your individual wikis. Um, might as well just get a jump on it. Uh, we'll flick it on site-wide, hopefully by the end of November, possibly a couple weeks earlier. So um, it'll just save you the, any, um, it gives you control over the schedule if you do it sooner than later. But if you don't want to, we'd expect that by the end of the month, this will be the only menu system available. We've got another question. Um, let me read it. Will you continue to build on this feature or is it being regarded as finished? So we always consider everything a work in progress. Uh, for the time being, once we, had, once we add sharing, menu validation, and you know, some of the visual tweaks that we're planning, 
um, that's it for now. Um, then what we will do, is, that's it for the basic feature development, but we will continue on an ongoing basis to look at what actually goes into the on the wiki menu and, you know, the contribute button. So we won't stop taking feedback or acting on it in for those. And of course, if there are any bugs that come up, we'll work on those. So um, we're really excited to see how pe people use it. That's why we want to get it out so soon. But nothing at Wiki is ever dead. It's always actually a uh, work in progress. And so your feedback will help us make it better. Uh, one more question. Um, can rollbacks and chat mods edit the menu? I must confess, I don't think I know enough. I don't understand the question. So, yeah, so right now the, the people who can edit the wiki menu are the same as the current set. Uh, we didn't plan on changing that, so if you're an admin, you should expect to see that unchanged. Um, if there's a need to amend those permissions, we should take that up separately and work with the community team to make the case for that. Otherwise, we were we were under the impression that the uh, existing permission structure was was working for most folks. Um, uh, another question. Thanks for all these questions, by the way. These are really uh, really helpful for us. Um, can we have a page link where admins can ask viewers for help in adding info to certain pages? So, is this, uh, if I'm understanding this correctly, it's a feedback mechanism for admins to ask the com the uh, um, the visitors. Yeah, I can I can jump into that. Yeah, so um, adding adding pages for help or links to um, important policy pages or community pages or discussion pages um, is a really good idea to do on the customizable menu. Um, so if you're an admin, um, you can easily add a link that might say community or um, or um, help us or want to get involved, um, and that can be added to your your customizable menu. Um, if you go to many wikis on Wikia, you'll see they often have um, something that does say community, and then within that drop down, it'll have different areas. So a sub, um, a level two might be a policy link. It might be your water cooler or forum area. And then a great idea, as um, sent in by this person, would be a place of what we're working on um, and what what we want to accomplish or where we need help. Um, so we would recommend that is a, a definitely a great thing to have on, on the area that you're able to customize. Um, in a matter of time, so that Trevor has enough time um, to present about the message wall and a answer all of your questions, um, we're going to move on to his presentation. But there are a couple other questions that we, we can ask Brad um, to build on at the end. Um, so thank you for those. Um, and we are going to now switch modes to talking about um, the message wall with Trevor, who's been one of the main um, product managers for um, for this product. So, with no further ado, I'm going to unmute. Hey there, everybody. I'm Trevor, a user oh my no on uh, a couple of wikis, Scrubs, Rust development, and um, I'm talking about the message wall on all of our wikis. The conversations that happen, sometimes behind the scenes, sometimes that are surfaced to the general public, are very, very important. Scrubs Wiki has been going on for over five years now, and I value all those conversations. Um, this is an example from my personal user talk page, and um, it looks like there are two conversations going on, but there are actually three. And if you try to read through it, you will realize that there's only half of a com or half of each conversation. Um, User talk works differently on multiple wikis. Some wikis you respond on the same, the same page. Some you go to the other person's um, page and create a new header. On Scrubs, you'll see um, this user started uh, a new title called Article Count. Then I replied on his wall or his uh, talk page, and then he came back and replied yet again. So this is um, this is a little bit um, aggravating for me when I try to go back and reread this conversation and for other people who come and um, are interested in this article count question. And then the second um, conversation has the same problem, and you'll notice the second 
um, statement under the actor pages header um, is actually a completely different conversation. So this is a, a newer contributor who came and he just wanted to leave a message about um, why we don't have blogs on the scrubs. And so you can't really visually see this here. Um, <coughs> patrolling through recent changes and I got my watch list email, but that would have been very easy for me to miss that if I uh, was just looking at my table of contents. And uh, this isn't just, these aren't just problems that affect Scrubs Wiki. And uh, researching our new system that's, it's not just fixes to user talk, it's a whole new product. I saw that these same problems happen across the board on all of our wikis. So um, we have some talk page pain points. Leaving and responding to messages can be complicated. Um, we don't want to let you know having a conversation get in the way of having a conversation. If I just want to leave Brad a new message, it should be quick and simple. I am going into the edit window is a little bit of overkill if I just want to leave a, a quick message. Um, and this is also difficult for new contributors too, and. Um, that therefore causes pain points for admins and more experienced contributors who have to train new folks. And we shouldn't have to waste time on teaching people how to sign their name. That should um, be automatic. And following multiple conversations is difficult. So I had just three conversations going on on my talk page right there. And if I'm talking to some other admins, I need to follow those. And if I'm talking to new folks that are asking questions, I need to follow those conversations. And if I'm following a whole user page or, or user talk page and um, I'm following Brad's page talking about you know templates and Sarah comes along and talks about images I'm gonna get email notifications about that and it's it's not as streamlined as it, as it can be so here are our goals for the message wall we just want to you know clear the clutter and let people talk so you can get back to your wiki work um, we needed to we wanted people to be able to stay on top of all of their conversations and not be distracted by things that they're not interested in. So we're splitting it into individual conversations rather than just a whole page. Um, improve the user experience for new contributors. Um, and this, as I said before, helps admins so they don't have to, you know, um, kind of scold a new person. That's not a healthy way to welcome somebody to your wiki is to say, hey, you did this wrong. So we want to eliminate those failure points for new folks. And uh, we got some inspiration from all over the place. Um, we got a lot of inspiration from other popular websites that their whole goal is to talk to other people in public ways. So Facebook's a good example of that. And um, they do a great job at being a surf surfacing interesting conversations to different parties and helping you stay on top of conversations you're having. And um, Gmail and other email features do great jobs at um, keeping you notified about specific emails and conversations you're having. And even on our site, you'll see right here from the Final Fantasy Wiki, people are using these speech bubbles um, to wish each other happy birthday. So that's kind of cool. So we, we like that approach and we wanted to kind of carry some of that over. So here's the message wall. This is my message wall on Scrubs Wiki. And we are logged in as Sarah right now. So you can see her avatar right by the two entry fields. So you can provide a title right there just like you do with headers on user talk pages and you can leave a message right in there. And you can ramble on for as long as you like. <coughs> it can be two words, it can be 2,000 words. We're not gonna limit you there. It's got full wiki text and you post it and it instantly posts right to the wall. It will push this hey there conversation down and Sarah's new conversation will be posted right there instantly. Uh, Right there is the hey there uh, conversation. And um, not in the screenshot, there is a reply field. And it's in the next uh, slide. And you just reply right on the screen and you hit enter and same thing. It just posts right in front of your eyes. And uh, it automatically signs for you and uh, throws in your avatar. And uh, one other thing we're doing is if there is a particularly long conversation, for example, this hey there conversation has been going on for a while. There are 14 replies. We're only going to show you the top one and the two most recent ones. So from that, you can get a good brief. You say, yeah, this is an interesting conversation to me. And if you want to read everything, you just click that view all 14 replies and see everything. And then the second half of the message wall is my favorite part, the most exciting part, is the notifications. So up in the upper right-hand corner is 
are the speech bubbles, and um, if you get a new notification, you get a little red number one up there, and we will list every single new notification you get. So let's say you're on a very active wiki, you're really popular, and you get 4,000 notifications. Yes, that's an exaggeration, but yes, we will show you every single one of those. We're also going to show you five recently read notifications. So let's say uh, Sarah Lee gives me a message about somebody who's been you know, deleting um, categories from a whole bunch of pages. I can read that conversation, go clean up, add more categories or fix something, and then come back to that conversation quickly via the notification. And then here is a example uh, conversation. And you'll notice that in the upper right can, uh, hand corner of the conversation is a following uh, little button. Now, if it is on my wall, I'm automatically following. If I write a conversation or reply to a conversation, I automatically follow that. Or if I'm just interested in something, let's say Sarah and Brad are talking about you know, the spoiler policy, and I, I don't have anything to say, but I want to know what happens here, I can follow that and receive notifications. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. We're working on a bunch of this stuff. Um, at the moment, we are working on history and admin management because all of the replies and comments are wiki text. Anybody, or not anybody, but certain people can go back in and edit their messages. So for example, if I wrote a message, I can edit that message. Or if um, it's on my wall, I can delete that message, and admins can delete and edit anywhere. So let, uh, let's say a problem user um, edits their message and is kind of making the conversation difficult to track, we're, we're working on how to surface that this person changed it and um, show the change that they've done. And uh, that also includes wiki activity and recent changes. Wiki activity is also something exciting. Um, we're condensing every reply to a, a conversation into just one item, showing you the two most recent replies, rather than having like 40 items in wiki activity about a conversation, we're just showing you one chunk. That way you can see more article edits. And uh, the same for recent changes, or similar for recent changes. We're showing every item, um, but we're hoping to make it tidy so you can see your um, article and template and image and all that stuff that you, that's important to you. Um, improved emails. We're um, really excited about this. We're going to give you more information in the email so you can decide from your inbox, hey, I want to go to the wiki and respond to this conversation, or this isn't really worth my time. I'll do it later. Um, a welcome message, so if somebody new um, joins your wiki, comes, makes an edit, uploads a photo, we'll uh, automatically welcome them. And uh, more, tons more. So um, if you have any questions about what we're working on, you can send it in now. Or you can test it out on communitytest.wikia.com. You can go to the wiki activity, you'll see my avatar, it's me singing karaoke, and my name all over the place, we're replying to conversations. Uh, leave me a message or just write a message on your wall and I'll see it. And, uh, you know, it's a great place to test it out. And the wall will soon be in Wikia Labs, hopefully by the end of the month. Awesome, Trevor. Thank you for that um, overview um, and a quick look at the wall. Um, thank you, everyone, for sending in questions. Actually, some of the questions I um, that you're asking are actually already queued up here, which means... Um, it's good that we're on the kind of the same wavelength here. Um, so one of the um, the way I kind of curated these, similar to the wiki navigation, was looking at common questions we've gotten on the staff blog as well as feedback we've gotten from communities. Um, and the the first and foremost have been um, relating to um, the permanent rollout across Wikia um, of this new tool. Um, so um, will do you know yet if the message wall will or won't be optional? Great question, Sarah. A lot of people are asking this and wondering about this. Um, for the moment, we're not 100% positive. Our plan is to pump so many features into it that you will love it. And if there's a feature you want, please let us know about it. Um, and uh, we're going to work on it you know, nonstop for the next four weeks, get it into labs, and then let you uh, play with it for a couple of, um, of months. And uh, if it still falls short, we'll add more things and we will make a decision in early 2012 about um, if this is going to be site-wide or if this is right for all wikis. Or okay, um, so you're still looking at it and there isn't a, there isn't a clear um, decision that's been made yet. Um, so um, one thing that, that, I, that a lot of folks have noticed and, and said is that this seems like um, 
a bit a, a big simplification from talk pages to to the message mock. So you can describe a little bit why why was this simplified so much? Um, well, first, uh, simplifying it, we uh, we looked at a lot of the uh, we looked at the way people have to leave messages with their current user talk page system. And there's a lot of manual work that you have to do. You have to go in, you have to create an H2, and then you have to, uh, you know, indent if you're writing a reply, and then you have to write your own signature. And, you know, th that thing, that adds up. And granted, the more you do it, the faster you get at it. But we wanted to just, you know, take the load from you about what we can do automatic that uh, saves you time so you can get back to it, working on your wiki. And um, it's not a simple product as in it's not just there's it's not uh, powerful anymore because we our full goal of this is to make it more powerful than user talk pages so we do allow full wiki text so you can use templates and anything you can do on user talk page um, and wiki text you can do in a message and soon we're gonna have a little editor that makes it easier and uh, to do those active um, items Okay, wonderful. That actually does um, pull up one of the questions that came from the community of will there be um, a rich text editor version or a visual mode editor um, within the message wall. And that's one thing um, that we are working on. Um, we don't have um, it yet ready to test, but folks can keep an eye out that there will be um, a rich text or visual editor that will be able to be applied um, if, if you choose to use it there. Um, the next question that I have, but also plays on some of the other questions that have come in, is um, can we, how can this, the message wall be customized? So most specifically, um, custom signatures, what will happen with custom signatures? And then also, um, are you going to be able to have um, a customizable area that sits at the top? So for example, on my community um, central talk page, I have a little um, kind of welcome message to my, to my talk page. Will there still be the option to kind of have this little Welcome to my message wall area at the top. Uh, yes, to go back to the mini editor really quick, um, that the mini editor is going to include a couple of other items that people have been asking for, like add a photo button and a, uh, a preview button and link suggest, and those are all very important. And uh, for the top area, the greeting area, I mean, I use it on my user talk page on Community Central. Um, and I've seen it on tons of other wikis that say, hey, you know, I I'm, I'm Frank, I'm the I'm the admin to ask about templates. Or, hey, you know, I'm Jill. I'm going to be in Hawaii for two weeks, so uh, please leave messages for another admin. Or, hey, uh, I love scrubs. You know, leave me a message about scrubs. And uh, we want to be able to give people the ability to write such messages at the top of their wall, to welcome people to their wall or give them instructions. Uh, part of the reason that we didn't initially roll out with this is because a lot of those are currently used to give instructions to say indent or sign with four tildes. And since we're, we're kind of doing some of the work for people, um, some of those messages will be redundant. But yes, we are definitely planning on adding a little section at the top of your message wall that you can customize with full wiki text and you can make it as large as you want. Uh, that is coming soon and hopefully we'll have, we will have that ready for labs. Okay, that's good to hear. Um, so uh, another question of the community before we move on to the ones that I queued up there. Um, uh, since it is so easy to respond to folks, how, how it seems like it's going to be a lot easier also for people who are trying to be malicious or spam um, to post on this new wall. So what are some of the ways that um, admins and users can try to stop um, you know, spam attacks or, or profanity from showing up on their pages? We're actually currently brainstorming new ways to like, flag certain conversations or archive current conversations. Um, but right now, if I, my message wall, and I'm not an admin, I can delete any mo message that somebody leaves on my wall. So if Sarah comes and she calls me a meanie pants and I don't like it, I can delete it from my wall. Um, that, kind, that does leave a little bit of room for um, somebody to not be able to delete something. Whereas on user talk, anybody can go and remove malicious comments. Um, and so, yeah, we, we're working on that. And, um, but it's um, actually a one-click delete, or two clicks, because we give you a, a light box, to uh, delete an entire conversation or reply. So it, it's, it's easier to delete the spam for admins and wall owners than it is to write it. Um, and in the future, we're, 
for actually developing even better ways to do this so everybody can control and manage you know malicious and angry people um, all right I'm just going to go in and answer this next question what happens to my current talk page as I said for scrubs wiki has been going for five years we have lots of great conversations that have helped develop and decide the future of our wiki that cannot be lost and so we are going to archive everything you know and it's going to save all of its functionality except for editing so only admins will be able to edit the archive talk pages but we're providing a uh, a link on every wall where there was a user talk page at the very bottom and it says user talk archive and um, you can go in and you can uh, take a look at the history of uh, anybody's user talk and then uh, I'll just jump right into the fifth question. How is it going on test wikis? It's going great. It's on about 10 wikis right now, uh, in addition to a community test. And uh, I mean, there's a little bit of adjustment to like, hey, what happened to my user talk? Or hey, look at the notifications. Um, but for the most part, that just lasted a couple of hours. And then people just got back to their you know, wiki work, having the same high quality conversations. Um, one of the most exciting parts about it, though, is that we noticed that conversations are happening faster. So a conversation that might take, you know, two days for people to respond and reply. Because we're um, displaying that we're surfacing them a little bit better, we're giving you the notifications directly to the conversation while you're on the wiki, those conversations are happening faster. Okay, thanks for uh, jumping through on those. A couple other questions that have been coming in related a bit to some of the stuff um, you've already mentioned. Um, do you have an idea how this new um, welcome message um, tool will work, or are you guys still really in the kind of brainstorming phase? The tool that, that welcomes new people to a wiki, uh, that should work similar to the current welcome bot. It, it will be a bot, and it will probably be the user wikia bot. We will have to use new messages because the, um, the existing messages and the customized, like, per wiki customized messages will be a little bit outdated because it's not going to be a user talk page anymore. Um, but it will fo hopefully function the same way where you can um, leave a message on a user page and a wall and then same for anons and then you can choose turn it off if you don't like it. Uh, here's another question. Will there be an option to define a global introduction message? Not 100% positive what this means. Yeah, no, message walls will be wiki specific. Um, right now, the, you, the, the masthead, the top part of your profile that has your avatar and says where you live and your birthday and all that, um, that's really the only thing that follows you from all the wikis. Um, because, you know, my conversations on Scrubs are different than my conversations on, on Muppet, those need to be separated. And uh, same for notifications, we're trying to figure out how to show you these notifications without getting them confused and mixed up. Uh, I think the question too is looking at if you know if I've defined my little welcome. I'm Sarah. I'm really into gardening. On the top of um, you know my community central, I might also want that applied across the site. So um, that's also maybe just a bit of feedback for you of thinking about um, some folks actually might want to have a global welcome to my my message wall across the site. Um, another question: um, Will rollbacks be able to edit messages? Do you know that yet? I don't believe they currently can, but this. Uh, I don't believe they currently can, but this is the exact type of feedback that we love, and if this is helpful for you to manage, manage and maintain your community, uh, let us know. This is actually a great piece of feedback. We will go and think about this and uh, see if that's a change we can make. Okay, great. Um, another question that's here is about um, on the wall currently it has your real name listed. Um, is, th is this going to stay a requirement um, and why have we kind of decided to move more towards using these real names rather than um, wiki usernames like we have in the past? Um, we're, uh, we're not really calling it real name, we're calling it preferred name because um, you don't actually have to put your real name. So in my masthead, I have Trevor, but, you know, if I wanted to go by Batman, I could go by Batman. Um, the real problem is that, that we're trying to solve with this is that, you know, my username is Oh My No, 
but I don't really like it when people call my oh my call me oh my no. Um, I prefer people to call me Trevor. Um, that said, there are people on our site who prefer to be called by their username. So we want to give you the option to choose um, what you're called um, and what what is displayed. The username is important, so we need to surface that all the time. So if I do have oh my no, that's going to show all the time. Uh, and um, there, because we did launch the new top part of the profile before, some people have played with it, and that doesn't always, you know, jive with how it displays on the wall. They didn't know that it, we would be using that. So there will be a couple of people who might need to edit their preferred name to make it fit, or they might just take it off if they don't uh, like it displaying. So it's uh, it's up to the individual, and um, it, it's really for people, you know, like like me, like oh my no, I don't want to be called that. Um, some people like Sarah Manley. Her username is Sarah Manley. She doesn't have to include that if she doesn't want to. So it's completely up to you. Okay, that's great. Um, so I think that's been all of the questions that um, that have come in from the community. I think that was a really great mix. So thank you, everyone, for submitting them. Um, if you um, have any um, burning question after this, feel free to um, send one in to community at Wikia, and we can relay that back to Trevor or, or Brad. Also, there's a number of blog posts um, that are up uh, on Community Central, um, where you can go in um, and give feedback and ask, as well as um, using Wikia Labs, um, both now for um, the Wiki navigation and also for the message wall when it, it will be added there. Um, in the coming months. So um, I just wanted to give a shout out to our Community Central Wiki, which I've mentioned a couple times, but just so everyone knows where it is, uh, community.wikia.com. Here you can find um, our staff blog, our community forums, our founder and admin central that's focused on um, helping new founders and admins um, be able to navigate their their tools um, and to talk about best practices. You can also um, find um, recording of our last webinar and hopefully within a couple days this webinar that will be, excuse me, um, posted there as well as being able to register um, for future webinars or put in a request. Um, these are a, a new endeavor that we're taking, uh, taking on and we would love for um, you to send in ideas, if there's people that you want to talk to at Wikia or um, areas that you want kind of this live support or discussion around, please send in your ideas um, either on my talk page or um, again anywhere on um, using special contact or emailing um, Community Central. Um, I want to thank you all for attending. Um, and uh, hopefully there wasn't any audio issues. I also want to thank Trella for relaying questions across the table here to us um, and to Trevor and Brad for taking time out of their busy schedule um, to speak with the community about what they're working on, what their thought process is, um, and, and how they're working to improve Wikia. Um, so thank you, everyone. Um, we hope you enjoyed this session. And um, like I said, send in feedback. Um, you'll be getting an email with a uh, link to a survey that's about this about this session. If you could please fill that out, this will help us in designing better sessions going forward. Um, so thank you once again, um, and happy editing. <laughs>